Hi, this is Maggie from Cancer Vimi, and today I'm checking out the new Keto Mojo. So this has actually been on the market for a few months, but I had a bunch of strips from my old Keto Mojo left over that I wanted to use before trying this one out. So finally getting a chance to take a look. It has a lot of features that I've been excited about getting. One, it automatically calculates your GKI, so you don't have to do it separately in a spreadsheet or however you're doing it now. Two, it has an app, which the old one didn't have, to track it for you automatically. And three, it'll automatically sync that information back to Chronometer, which is the app that I recommend for tracking macros. Also, the strips are a little bit cheaper, which is always an added bonus. All right, let's check out how to set it up. So one thing that's new about the new Keto Mojo is you actually have to calibrate it with these special drops, one for ketones, one for glucose. This is recommended to do like once a week when you open a new box of strips, when you wanna check the meter and the strips because you don't really trust the result, after cleaning the meter, if you dropped it in water, if the test strips are stored in extreme temperatures or humidity, or if you get a test result you feel isn't quite accurate, like for example, if you've been water fasting for a bunch of days and don't show any ketones, there might be something wrong and it's time to recalibrate. So to do the control test, you start by first picking which solution you wanna use. We're gonna do with ketones first. Notice that the color matches the color of the strip packaging and even the liquid is the same color. The instructions are to discard the first drop and then put the second drop on our non-absorptive surface. Put that aside for now. And again, this is ketones, it's blue, so we know to insert the blue ketone strip into the meter. All right, as soon as a blood drop appears, it's ready to test. Just touch the tip of the meter to the drop. Nice, it beeps when it's ready. Countdown starts. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And you'll wanna compare the number that you get in the calibration with the number on the label from your package or the strips. In this case, they put it on the box. We are well within range. This is ready to use. Let's do the same thing for our glucose strips. Discard the first drop, place our other drop, get our glucose test strip, insert it into the meter, but insert it the correct way. Once it beeps, it's ready to touch the tip of the strip to the liquid. Beeps again, the countdown starts, and once again, we'll compare the number that appears here in the control range that's given on the box of the packaging. All right, we're ready to go and test our actual numbers. All right, so obviously the first step of testing your blood glucose and blood ketones is taking your blood drop. So here you use the provided Lancet. When you get it, it won't be filled. You take the Lancet tip, take off the safety cap, and insert it into the little white area of your lancet. Carefully close it back up, rotate to click, uh, to close, and then you can adjust the depth of your prick by turning, I believe it's the top white cap. So you can see the numbers. I need to go with a really deep prick because I have been doing this for several years and also have lots of calluses. But uh, if you have sensitive skin, start with a much lower prick first. Charge it by pulling on the bottom and then place it on your favorite finger or least favorite finger <laughs> and press the button for just a little stabby stabby. Get a good blood drop here. I only wanna use one. From there, we're gonna test our blood ketones. This is the blue bag. It's so simple. You just insert the strip into the new Keto Mojo, wait for it to charge. When you see the blood drop, it's ready to go and you touch the tip of the strip to your blood drop here in real life. Sorry, my finger's a bloody mess. It's a 10 second countdown.
and there you have your ketones. 4.5, very happy, that's all it takes. It's the exact same process with your glucose strips. Take out your test strip, insert it into the mojo. Once it beeps, touch it to your blood drop. Here it's only a five second countdown to get your blood glucose. 53. Mine's a little bit low, but that really helps me with my deep therapeutic ketosis. Notice that it's beeping because it thinks I'm hypoglycemic. It doesn't know I have these raging ketones powering me. All right, so we've got the glucose, we've got the ketones. Next would be to see how it calculates the GKI for us. Now I'm super excited about checking out the app for this. When you first load it up, download the app from the App Store, of course. When you have a new reading, press the sync button down in the bottom left corner. It'll search for your device, make sure that it's on so that I can pair up. All right, four readings imported for me. Click the checkbox and I can see my latest GKI. It doesn't seem like it should be a big deal, but this saves me so much time from having to calculate, do the glucose divided by 18, divided by the ketones, track it all in a spreadsheet. It's just gonna save me a ton of time and I love being able to see my GKI right there and confirm that I'm nice under 1.0, just where I wanna be for much of the time. And that's it, that's how to use the brand new Keto Mojo. Uh, it's only been a few days, but I absolutely love it. If you're interested in getting your own, you can use the links down in the description and get 5% off your, your purchase.